Churches of different denominations throughout the world celebrate Pentecost. Acts chapter 2 records the Holy Spirit filling Jesus' disciples on the day of Pentecost. But this was not the first Pentecost. The Jewish festival of Shavuot has been celebrated for generations. It's celebrated 50 days after Passover. Pentecost comes from the Greek word meaning 50th. But what happened that day was something new. The revelation of the Holy Spirit that Jesus' disciples experienced was extraordinary. But this was not the beginning of the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was in the beginning. Genesis 1 tells us, The earth was without shape and empty, and darkness was over the surface of the watery deep. But the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the water. But what happened for Jesus' disciples was a new revelation of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was the beginning of the church. The Holy Spirit formed the church. The Holy Spirit did not lie dormant after the establishment of the New Testament church. St. Augustine, who lived in the years 354 to 430, wrote these beautiful words. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. The founders of the Pentecostal movement in the early 20th century experienced a revival and renewal of the church led by the Holy Spirit. Revival and renewal is what the Holy Spirit does, has done, and will continue to do. The Holy Spirit is never absent because the Holy Spirit lives in and acts through every follower of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not to be feared. The Holy Spirit brings peace. There are no tricks, no bells and whistles, no special prayers you have to pray. If you love Jesus, we are promised the Holy Spirit is already with us. But we can seek more of the Holy Spirit. We can grow in the Holy Spirit. We can live and move in the Holy Spirit. We can expect new revelations of the Holy Spirit. And so we can pray. Come Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill me. Holy Spirit, renew me. Holy Spirit, revive and renew this church. Amen.